in AutoCAD you'll see several kind of drawings and there are certain symbols like blocks, line types, hatches and dimensions which you want to keep at an equal size no matter what the scale of your drawing is. So in order to do that we make those objects annotative and assign some scales to it. Now when you change the scale of the object or the drawing those objects which are assigned annotative property will retain their shape will retain their size no matter what the scale of output it is now in this case i have got these two kind of object hatch pattern and this dimension style here the object in the left this hatch pattern and dimension style which you can see in white color is non annotative whereas on this right of drawing you can see this dimension style and this hatch pattern which is annotative you can make any object annotative by changing its property so you can select this dimension style right click go to its property and from here you will see this in miscellaneous bar this one is turned as no that means it's not annotative just click on this drop down change it to yes and it will be and it will become an annotative object so i'm not going to change this because this is non annotative and i'll keep it in that way in a similar way you can also assign this object to annotative property now in these two pro objects this annotative property has already been assigned and you can verify it by moving your cursor to the object and you'll see on this tool tip this annotative icon which appears when you move your cursor to any of these objects now let's go and assign some scales to it right now this object is at a scale of 1 is to 1 before assigning scale make sure that you have selected this show annotation objects make sure that add scales to annotative object when the annotation scale changes this button is also selected so we have these two buttons selected indicated by this blue color and scale is set to 1 is to 1 now let's change this scale to 1 is to 2 and as soon as you change the scale you'll see that the size of these objects which are annotative change their size and here in this case it's spacing and the tooltip will also reflect multiple annotation of symbols that indicates that now this annotative object has got multiple scales it is applied to multiple scales now let's go and apply 2 is to 1 scale as well so here we have this 2 is to 1 and the size reduces okay so now we have annotative object applied to three different scales let's return back to 1 is to 1 now we have these objects with the annotative scales of 1 is to 1, 1 is to 2 and 2 is to 1. Now let's go what these changes mean. Go to layout and make a viewport. Right now we have a viewport so double click inside. This will activate the viewport and change this scale to 1 is to 1. Now double click outside. So here in this case when you'll zoom in you'll observe that the size for all the object is constant when the scale is set to 1 is to 1. Now let's go to another layout double click in this viewport and let's change it to 1 is to 2 and now double click outside. Now at this scale you will observe that the size of this object increases although it might seem to you that it is increasing but in fact the size of this object which is annotative remains constant and the size of this object which was non annotative reduces to half of its size okay now let's go and look at the third scale which was 2 is to 1 for that I'll create a new layout click here double click inside and now let's go on and apply a scale of 2 is to 1 now in this case you will see that this is more closely spaced and the size seems to be shorter than the one which is in non annotative scale but again in this case this size is increasing to twice its original value and this remains constant now I have an image that will make a comparative study which will make these things more clear to you now let's look at this scale this is 1 is to 1 scale, the scale in which we have drawn the objects initially. Now you can see these spacing are quite common or they are quite equal. Also the size of dimensions are equal. When we move on to 2 is to 1, 
when you'll compare the size and the spacing between hatches of 1 is to 1 and 2 is to 1 for annotative object it is same also for dimension the size is same but for non annotative object the spacing becomes twice of its value at 1 is to 1 also the size of dimension becomes twice of its original value now let's move on to this 1 is to 2 scale in this condition the scale is reducing its size and obviously for non annotative object you'll see that the spacing reduces to half and also the size of dimension reduces to half but in this case dimension size remains constant and also hatch spacing remains constant so in all these three cases annotative objects have equal spacing in hatches equal size for dimensions but for non annotative objects when the scale changes the size of object changes as well so that was the main aim of using an annotative object i hope you liked it if you have questions do let me know in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe if you want more such tutorials from SourceCAD. Thank you for watching.